वेलकम टू आई बी पी एस सी डब्ल्यू ई पी ओ प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जामिनेशन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन कैंडिडेट इंस्ट्रक्शन वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज डिजाइन टू गाइड यू थ्रू इम्पोर्टेंट इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट नीड टू बी फॉलोड फॉर आई बी पी एस सी डब्ल्यू ई पी ओ प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जामिनेशन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन हाय माई नेम इज निशा and i am here to give you a better understanding of the guidelines that you need to follow before or during and after the exam has commenced let us take a brief tour of the instruction guidelines starting from the pre preparation of the documents few days before the exam it is important that you are well aware with the date shift and the time of reporting The CWE preliminary examination will be held on 16th, 22nd, 23rd and 27th October 2016. The exam may have multiple shift. Make sure to note down the reporting time of your shift and prepare yourself accordingly. The examination will be held in four sessions on some or all dates in different centers details of the venue roll number session and the exam start time will be mentioned in your call letter no candidate will be permitted to exam center 30 minutes after the reporting time once you are clear with the date and time of the exam the next step is to validate the name as given in the call letter and the id proof note that any mismatch in the names will not be accepted and you will not be permitted to write the exam verify the exam center as mentioned in your call letter download and print the call letter as per the instructions received by you in your mail now the next important step is to go through the following document checklist original id proof as mentioned in the call letter photograph call letter and mention documents be prepared one day before the exam so that you do not miss any vital document on the day of the exam note that for valid documents ration card should not be carried as it will not be accepted as a valid id proof and can cause problems during the document validation in situations of name change after marriage you will have to produce an original gazette notification or a marriage certificate or an affidavit remember that along with the documents you will be permitted to bring only pencil eraser and a ball point pen with you to the examination hall in case you miss any of the above mentioned documents you will not be permitted to appear for the exam now that you have prepared for the documents The next step is to ensure the following directions of the exam center distance and mode of transport time it takes to reach the exam center it is advisable to visit the exam center a day prior to the exam day to familiarize yourself with the location this will help you to reach the exam center on time on the exam day It is important that you reach the exam hall well before the reporting time. You are advised in your own interest not to bring any banned items including cell phones as arrangement for their safe keeping cannot be assured. Following banned items will be strictly not allowed inside the premises of the examination. Pagers, calculators, bluetooth, books notebook and cell phones etc as you enter the exam venue you will be verified on the admit card and the original valid id proof at the entrance gate by an exam volunteer on entering a seating plan board indicating the floor number and the range of roll numbers allotted to each room for each session will be displayed follow the directional arrows to reach the exam lab as displayed on the notice board on the exam lab corridor a similar seating plan board will be displayed 
Cross check the room number along with your roll number. Also, confirm the floor number and the lab name. As you enter the exam lab, you will be verified on the admit card and the original valid ID proof by the invigilator. Once you reach the exam lab, make sure that you sit at the assigned desk as per your roll number. The seating information list will be displayed outside the exam lab. For example, if the system name corresponding to your roll number is C030, then you will have to sit at the system which displays the given number. After you are seated at your assigned desk, there are certain tasks that you need to perform. These are Write down your roll number on the photocopy of the ID proof. Also, write down your roll number and password on the upper left side of the rough sheet provided to you by the invigilator. Then, draw a line below that. Balance part is for your rough work use. Provide your thumb impression and signature on the attendance sheet. Hand over the call letter and photocopy of the photo identity proof duly stapled together to the invigilator. Ensure that the invigilator signs the call letter before taking it from you. Note that signing on the attendance sheet and providing your thumb impression on the sheet is mandatory as this is required for further process. Listen to all the rules and important information that is conveyed by the examiner. Important information or norms to be followed inside the exam hall. Any kind of talking or disturbing will be reported as a malpractice. You will be disqualified if found resorting to any unfair means including giving or receiving help to or from any candidate during the exam. Usage of pagers, calculators, Bluetooth and cell phones will be strictly prohibited. Once the exam starts, you will not be permitted to leave the examination hall, even for bio breaks, till the exam time is over and the exam administrator gives the permission to leave. Note that an addition of 20 minutes for every hour of the examination will be provided to candidates with locomotor disability, cerebral palsy, where dominant writing extremity is affected to the extent of slowing function, minimum of 40% impairment or visual impairment. The eligible PWD candidates need not provide medical certificate during the exam for receiving compensatory time. Exam begins. Now, to log in to your system screen and start the exam, Follow the given instruction. Provide the password in the login screen where the user ID will be pre-populated. To mention your password, click on the keyboard icon to use the virtual keyboard and then click sign in. Your screen will display the profile information as submitted by you during the time of filling the exam form. Then click I confirm to confirm the details and begin the exam. The default language for viewing the exam instructions will be English. You can change the default language from the provided drop-down list. You can also change the default language for the exam view from the given drop-down option. After carefully reading the instructions, select the checkbox and click the I am ready to begin link. Now, you can start with submitting the answers using the mouse cursor. As you begin, a timer indicating the time left for the exam will be displayed on the screen. Note that if the timer stops due to any disruption during the exam, you will not lose the exam duration time. Status for each question will be displayed on the right hand panel. Each question number will be displayed in the defined color as per the following. Green indicating the answered question, red for unanswered questions, gray questions not visited or viewed, violet with check 
showing the marked for review question along with the answer. Violet without check, indicating the questions which are marked for review. Now, to submit the answer, select any of the following tabs. Mark for review and next. To mark the answer to return to it later and move on to the next question. Clear response. To clear the answer option for that question only. Save and next. To save your answer for evaluation and move to the next question. After the exam time is over, all the answers will be auto submitted. Once the exam is over, tear off the top portion of the rough sheet where you had written your roll number and password and keep it with you. Hand over the remaining part to the invigilator. We hope you have found this video helpful in guiding you for the exam related instructions. All the best.